Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back with a Watch Me Deconstruct This Fabric Panel video. I have this lovely panel here that some of you will be like probably shocked that I'm going to chop it all up. That's okay, you can be. I really want to show people that sometimes you have a panel that you might not care for or that you just don't know what to do with it and it's not really a good panel to like cut blocks or whatever this panel I think is absolutely beautiful but I'm just I don't know I'm not thrilled with these you know cat faces and you know the birds are okay but you know it's just I don't know, I don't know. there's just something about it that it's just not up my alley but this shit <laughs> the flowers and the colors and all that absolutely love that also the green on the on the edges so I'm going to chop this up into two inch squares why two inch squares and maybe not something bigger because something bigger if you get like a partial cat face or a partial bird it it's really obvious that it's partial and again, there's nothing wrong with that. But with a two inch square, it doesn't matter if something's partial because the square is small. So it just, you know, it just looks like a colorful little square. And you can use the two inch squares in lots of projects. I just moved a couple piles of fabric. I am in a massive cutting frenzy trying to cut a lot of the fabric that I have and it was just blocking my natural light so now I can see what I'm doing all right we're going to do two inch squares this is going to be very quick and easy because I'm not starting out with yardage that I have to take off the bolt you know I have a, a nice workable size piece of fabric also the other thing is there's really no direction on this and it doesn't matter if a strip might be cut a little crooked as long as it's two inches wide it doesn't really matter though if everything is lined up like if you were using for instance uh, something that had a small plaid or something that you want to make sure stays straight this is easy so look for things that are easy and that it doesn't matter which way the two inch square comes out and I know my air conditioner the fans you can hear all that stuff but I must have those things to survive <laughs> I folded this in half and I'm going to um, not be overly concerned and I'm going to fold it in half again I'm just gonna press this edge right here actually I changed my mind and I am going to take these salvages off first. Now I'm going to um, match that up. I will be trimming that, making it straight. Let's see if this needs to be pulled to grain a little bit. Okay, now I am going to I'm going to press this like this so it's nice and folded. Now I'm sitting. I do my cutting sitting because I do a lot of cutting and um, it's just a way to relax for me. I'm not going to worry about getting every little two inch square that I can possibly get out of this because I could always screw up and you know whatever so I just I'm just gonna go ahead and cut and keep it simple so I'm just going to start here by making a nice straight edge and I want to make sure did I get all the white off so I look I see green all the way down so that means all the white has been trimmed and then I'm just going to cut two inch strips When I cut, before I lift my hand up, I, I keep pressure and then I tug on my little strip to make sure it's not still connected. I just put a new blade in, so I should be good to go. All right, I'm going to cut. You just listen to whatever music I have. Let's see 
how many we ended up with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven strips. It's a good idea to press all your strips so that, you know, it kind of makes them not stick together, but it, I don't know, it just works better. Also, your creases will be nice and flat, especially if you're new to cutting two inch squares. I don't always press my strips because I cut thousands of two inch squares. Now, I am so close here, but I'm going to be able to do it. I just picked two lines, 7, 17. That means it's a 10 inch strip and I can get uh, five little chunks of squares. They're four deep, so that would give me 20 squares out of one strip. So I'm going to do that. Um, let's see. And I just have to make sure that when I cut on this side that I'll be cutting off that edge. That's what creates the little sticks. And then on this edge, normally there's salvages here and then the fold. But I don't have salvages because I took them off. I don't know. I didn't have to do that, but I did. Oh, and you know what? I'm going to take a chance and put this on eBay as a penny auction. All the two-inch squares that I get out of this go check it out. eBay starts at a penny. Outside of the USA, you have to pay shipping, but in the USA, free shipping. Because my two-inch squares always sell out during my sales. Why am I crooked? And uh, so they never make it to eBay, although I did have like a set of 40 that was a cutting mishap or something, and it didn't go with the set that I wanted. I don't know. Okay, I like to start on this edge, and I cut off that end. Now I'm going on the line over here, the 7 inch. And then every 2 inches. And again, here I like to take and stack. Look, look at this. I'll show you in the images. Okay, so here is a partial bird. See, it doesn't look like a partial bird. It just looks like a colorful block that has some black in it. Look, some nice green. Oh my God. I just love doing this. I love it. I love it when the squares are all different. And like I said, I'll take some pictures at the end. So stick around for the little slideshow to see all the different prints. Look, 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 look. And again, I like to, you know, take them away because in case something is stuck, like I said, I have a, a new blade, but stuff still gets stuck for me because I have complete grooves that go all the way through my mat. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I can stick my fingers through in some places, and I did that for you before, so I won't do that trick again, but uh, I do a lot of cutting. Look how beautiful. You have some squares with orange and then the yellow and purple and the blue and lots of purple and green. Oh my god, I just love this so much. Oh, and then my last row is done because I already took that end off. Let me just finish doing all this cutting and uh, so you'll be listening to music again. See, I forgot to cut this end off first. You don't have to do that. I just do it because, I don't know, I find that the fabric has a better chance of wiggling when I'm just to the end like that. So I like to do that end, that edge first. That is it. Look. Go check out the penny auction for these 220 two-inch squares that you can have. I will lay them out and take a lot of pictures. Check them out. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some ideas. You can cut up any kind of fabric, any kind of panels, and always remember if you have a print you don't like at all, try two inch squares. 
because you'll never know what the print was. Even if you have some squares that are completely blank, like you have a pattern and there's a lot of white space between, it's okay to have little white squares. You put them in your quilt projects and you don't have to make quilts out of just two inch squares. You can make four patches and add them to other squares, whatever. I just love them so much. They are by far my favorite thing to cut. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.